Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the new session in the series of statistics that is measures of central tendency. Myself, Dr. Tushar Kalra, I am MD in Community Medicine, Preventive and Social Medicine. So let's begin our session. Our specific learning objectives are to understand the concepts of central tendency and to learn how to calculate the mean, median and mode. Now what do we mean by central tendency? So central tendency is a statistical measure to determine a single score that defines the center of a distribution. So our goal is to find a single score that is most typical and most representative of the entire group. So let's see what are the central tendencies. So basically there are three main, that is mean, median and mode. So first we'll talk about the mean. It is also known as arithmetic average and mean is defined as the sum of the scores divided by the number of the scores. So we can calculate the population mean and we can also calculate the sample mean. So mean is sum of x upon n. In case of sample mean, we will denote it as small n. In case of population mean, it is capital N. Now what are the alternative definition of a mean? So there are two alternative definitions that we can think of that is dividing the total equally among the individuals in the distribution. So amount that each individual receives when the total is divided equally among the individuals in the distribution is the first alternative then we can, that we can think of. Then second is mean as a balancing point. So in this figure 3.3 we can see the frequency that is distributed shown as a CSO balanced at the mean. So frequency are distributed from 1 to 10, the mean is 5. So mean is balanced, mean it acts as a balancing point. So if we want to know the location of number 1 in this frequency distribution, we'll say it is 4 point below the mean. So from the mean, so mean say hum decide karenge ki location kya hai of any of the frequency in the distribution. Now what is a weighted mean? So it is used when we have to calculate a combined mean of two set of scores. When there are two set of scores given, we can calculate it, the weighted mean. So iske liye hume do value chahiye, the overall sum of scores for the combined group and total number of scores in the combined group. So overall mean m kya ho jayega? Sum of x that is overall sum of combined group that is sum of x1 plus sum of x2 divided by total number in the combined group that is n1 plus n2. Now it is an example of weighted mean. So there are two samples and a combined sample. So the first sample n is small n is 12, sum of x is 72, mean is 6, that is 72 by 12. In the second sample small n is 8, sum of x is 56, mean is 7. Now for the combined sample we will add these two, n1 plus n2, so 12 plus 8, 20, then sum of x1 plus sum of x2, that is 128, the mean comes 6.4. So we can observe and note that overall mean is not the halfway between the original two samples. So it is shifted towards the first sample. Because samples are not same, the larger distribution, one make a larger contribution and therefore carries more weight in determining the overall mean that we have calculated, that is the weighted mean. Now how to compute the mean from a frequency distribution table? So the, it is uh, given, a quiz score is given, frequency is given, so we will multiply the quiz score into the frequency, then we will calculate the total of the uh, function of x, frequency into x, 10 into 1, 10, 9, 9 into 2, 18, 8 into 4, 32, 7 into 0, 0, 6 into 1, 6. So total comes 66, so mean is 66 by 8 sum of x upon n. So in this way we can calculate the mean from a frequency distribution table. Now what are the characteristics of a mean? Changing the value of a score changes the mean because sum of x will change. Now introducing a new score or removing an existing score usually change the mean because sum will change and number of scores will change. The exception is only when a score is equal to the mean is added. So if we equal to the mean score add karenge, to kuch bhi change hoga. It is easy to visualize the effect of adding or removing a score if we remember that mean is defined as a balance point of the distribution. Now adding or subtracting a constant from each score the same constant is added or subtracted to the mean, multiplying or dividing, dividing each score by a constant, then the distribution is also multiplied or divided by a constant value, the mean changes in the same way. The next we will talk about the median. So goal is to locate the midpoint of the distribution. There are no notation or specific symbol for identification of the mean. The first we have to list in order from smallest to largest. Then the midpoint of the list is the median. So median of a, is a point on the measurement scale below which 50% of the score in the distribution are located. Now examples are, there are two examples to calculate the median. First is the odd or frequency or number is given, so 3, 5, 8, 10, 11, so 8 is the median here. Now if a even number is given, when n is a even number, 1, 1, 4, 5, 7, 8, so we will take the middle to 4 plus 5 then divide by 2, that is 4.5 is the median in this case. Now when to use the median, when there is an open-ended distribution of the data, suppose if we are taking a data like this, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70 and 80 and above, so that 80 and above is an open-ended distribution of the data, in this case we have to use the median. Now if extreme scores or squeeze distribution is there, undetermined values and ordinal scale is there, then we will use the median. Next we will talk about the mode. Mode means customary fashion or a popular style. It is the score or category that has the highest frequency. It can be bimodal, it can be multimodal. Bimodal when we have two modes, multimodal when we have more than two modes. And when two modes of unequal frequencies are there, we will divide it into a major mode that is calling the tall peak as a major mode and a shorter one the minor mode. Now example of a mode is given. These are the restaurant, these are the frequencies. So we can observe here, Lugis is 42 times it has been voted as a best restaurant by the students. So mode is a 
score or a category it is not a frequency so in this case 42 is not the mode lugis is the mode so we have to remember that so when to use the mode when there is a nominal scale when there is a discrete value and when we are describing the shape you can refer to the previous video for understanding the nominal scale and a discrete value now what is the relationship between the mean median and mode for symmetric curve mean is equal to median equal to mode for symmetric curve again mean minus mode is equal to 3 mean minus median and for positively skewed curve mean is greater than median greater than mode and for negatively skewed curve mode is greater than median greater than mean so we'll understand in the next videos what is the skewness of the curve what is the normal distribution etc thank you everyone for listening like share and subscribe to my channel opportunistic md thank you everyone